For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for your daily dose of the doctor. Let's take a look at our first day of trading in this holiday-shortened week. This kind of a week can be a real headache when you're trying to plan trades from Friday going into a Tuesday, so you've got this long weekend, and a lot of times the work that you do trying to prepare for what's coming the following week gets undone over the long weekend, right? Because the world doesn't stop moving just because the market's closed. Things happen, markets shift when they're not even open. And then when you get the open on a Tuesday morning, things can look a lot different than they did in your analysis from the previous Friday. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be opportunity. So in our case, we've got a trading plan put together and we've got a bias on each and every trade, whether it's going to be the long side or the short side based on the pattern. And as you see here, Target Corporation was a fastball expansion of range and volume short side setup. The entry $69.93, the stop $70.39, initial target $69.38. And when you look over here, you can see that we've got these pivot lines well-defined, right? 7053 is going to be the central pivot on Tuesday. 7104 is R1. 6969 is S1. 7188 is R2. And 6918 is S2. The best way to prepare for a little bit of uncertainty in the markets just about any day of the week is to go through and find the levels that we think are going to be significant the following session. Let's see here that we've got support and resistance bounces going on in the price action on TGT. And that by drawing these lines, it gives me an idea of where there's going to be additional opportunity for entry. If we draw a quick FIB study on this, we can also see that there is some confluence between the lines that we just drew and the Fibonacci study. And those overlaps tend to make for good places to establish targets and entries and exits the following session. So let's take a look at what happened on Tuesday. We see that there were numerous opportunities to capitalize on those support and resistance lines that we drew. First thing in the morning, we had a move up to 7203 that bounced down right to that 7138 line. That move, in fact, repeated itself and made it all the way down to the 7103 R1 level. Then later we had a move up through R2. That one came down and found support right around the morning support level right here. And then later in the session, we had another move right after the lunch hour. Right, and this one, as the stock consolidated right at that 7103 pivot that we had prepared for from the night before, when it came down through it, that was the indication that there was the possibility of an entry. And in fact, a 7097 entry on that one wound up with a 7065 exit. Lots of opportunities over the course of the trading session. The goal here is to let them come to you. You want to be a trapper, not a hunter in these cases. You want to wait for the stock to set up perfectly and then take the reversal right as it happens. If a trader's wrong on one of these, he or she can get out right away. And if you're right, you just follow it down until it gets to the next level of support and resistance. That's how we look to time these things with the support and resistance levels that we established the night before. Hope that clears it up a little bit for all of you who are new to the first hour trading pit. If it doesn't, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. The best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.